Gathering inputs from multiple sources and then taking action on each becomes taxing when the task needs to be realized with frequency and by multiple stakeholders. An example is quarterly or annual budget approvals for a finance team. In this episode, I will share how to use an app script in a Google Sheet to automatically create a budget submission form that you can share with end users. And when the responses arrive in the sheet, you can collaborate with other reviewers to send emails in bulk, depending on whether you are approving, rejecting, or asking for more information about the request. What's even more handy is that we use a Google Doc as an email template and insert information from the sheet, such as a user's name, the budget values they entered, or any special comments you would like them to be notified. Welcome to the Sheets to Apps show, where we talk about how to tame these tabular beasts into productive applications. In this video's instructions, you can find a spreadsheet with a sample script included, along with step-by-step -step instructions on other helpful resources. The first step is to make a copy of that sample sheet. The script uses a custom menu to display several sub-options from the sheet. This menu is added to the interface thanks to an on-open simple trigger available in AppScript. Each option has a name and executes a function. This script uses several arrow functions, which is a feature in modern JavaScript that allows you to write transformations that map, filter, and reduce data. From the top of your sheet, select the custom menu, Send Email, Create Form. You are then prompted for permissions to run your script. Select Review Permissions. Note, if you encounter a warning page that says this app is not verified, proceed to click Advanced, Go To, and then Allow so that your script sends as you. Next, visit your spreadsheet. And in a few seconds, you have a new tab called Form Responses 1. And it has nine column headers, each belonging to the questions in your form. Note, if you want to have multiple forms to keep responses separated, you run the Create Form script more than once. This will create a new form each time and link it to a different tab in your sheet with its own unique instance of the form. You can always visit each form by selecting the Form menu option at the top of its respective response sheet. Next, from the Spreadsheet tab called Form Responses 1, visit the Form menu and then go to Live Form. It should look like this. Submit four responses to create test responses in your sheet. And ensure to use your own email address so you can receive the test emails. Note the URL address of the form is the link you can share with other teams to fill out. Next, from your form responses one tab, insert three columns to the left of the column called timestamp. And name column A action column B, comment, and column C, status. Next, in column A, create drop-down options by selecting the top of the column so that the entire column is highlighted, and choose the data menu at the top of the sheet, then data validation. Next, in the field called cell range, modify A1 to A2. This way, it skips the header. And in the criteria field, change the option to list of items, and enter the following values with commas in between each. Next, click Save. The action column will now have the following options. Next, let's look at the Google Docs we use to send email by visiting the tab called Templates. This tab contains three template names in their own row in column A with their respective URLs in column B. These templates insert data from the response sheet wherever there is text in curly brackets. Next, return to your Responses tab and populate column A and B with each action type once, and enter comments in order to test your emails. 
Next, locate the custom menu at the top of your responses sheet called Send Emails and choose Approved. After a few seconds, the row you marked as approved is populated with today's date and the name of the template used to email that user. After the status field is populated, you receive an email like this. Next, locate the custom menu option, send emails again, but this time select research needed. Note you can delete the status that was already populated from a prior email sent if you wish to send a different email to the same user, especially after a user sends you additional documents. Next, after the status field is auto-populated for the needs research row, let's run the script to send an email when a budget is not approved by selecting the custom menu option, send emails, not approved. It's important to wait for each request to finish as it will cancel a previously triggered email action if it has not completed it and entered a timestamp. And finally, note that of the four options in the action column, only three have email workflows. The one that is called Review in Progress simply helps you or your team know that a new response is being reviewed and no outcome has been assessed just yet. And there you have it, a spreadsheet workflow that both creates a form to collect information from other teams and enables you to send emails based on certain actions that you wish to take. Well, community, hope you found this episode helpful. If so, please click like and subscribe to receive alerts of future episodes. Cheers. Thank you.